Okay, well in this case, let's get about let's get into like more uh, general stuff. I'm curious about Estonian culture. Oof. What what are things that are similar, or different, the same compared to Scotland or Aberdeen? Because obviously Scotland is not just one thing; it's many different ones. Mentality obviously is different. Right, I'm curious about this. Go on. Probably don't even have to talk about that. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. No. Like I said, people are not really willing to be friendly with each other only if they know. That's the main thing the, I know. Distrust like, of tr- strangers. Yeah, even I, if uh, when even when my friend came over here for like four days, he he was so happy. He was oh my days, everybody's so nice to you. And they're saying hi and smiling. They don't even know you. In Estonia, sometimes you wouldn't even get a hi from somebody working on the till. That's yeah. That's you go into the shop. That's the classic East European <laughs> customer yeah. service. You go to the shop, and the woman just like exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the one of the main things that I noticed. Uh, people are very nice here. I don't know if uh, don't want to say any bad things because I mean you get used to it and. Um, what else? No, I'm see. I'm fascinated by this because I'm. I'm pretty sure, obviously, Estonia had communism as well, right? Uh, but no, what I'm trying to say is that it's fascinating that this is a theme I've noticed in most of the East European countries. You know that were affected by communism, which is the distrust of strangers, a bit of reservedness, and you might say some of that was culturally there before it. But I do know, like. East Europeans do love to party. Like once, once you get past that initial layer of, mm, <laughs> like once the vodka comes out, there's no holding us back. You oh know, yeah, no. Unbutton the shirt, all this, hands up. Same Love thing like this. ever, to be honest. Like, you know how sometimes they say, oh, Scorch people like drinking so much. And then, oh, but you didn't see the Russians. They are like, oh, only vodka and all that. You know, they go every day. But to be honest, that's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we used to have the stories of, you know, people walking it's, into the bar at yeah, like you would think, oh, We are the best drinkers. And then there's Polish coming. Oh, no, don't even try to, you know, com- compete and with And then us. like Moldovans are like, please, please, we are voted number one alcoholic, please. And That's then... actually yeah, everyone. So I don't think this is supposed to be a topic anymore of discussion because it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think everybody likes drinking. Maybe apart from maybe Scandinavian countries because they live a happy life and they always. That's what I like about them. They're, they're well adjusted. See, mind their own business and and the same time they're very happy. Everyone and they're so equal. Um, here I think, um, I'd say maybe there's a lot of uh, competition in um, reaching something. You know, going for the big goals and all that, and mm. then you just focus on yourself which is partially a good thing and then you don't care about others but at the same time that's uh not a very good thing here like i, I mean, said everybody is supporting and you just move together and that's easier to do so, things so you think in okay. back home there's a bit less support it's a bit more yeah, yeah. well again again you're more likely like to support your friends your close your crew, I feel like, but... yeah, apart from friends and family, I feel like you have to do everything yourself. And it's mm. so, you know, how they say it, for example, here for like um, actors to um, go to auditions, they say director who's he wants you, yeah, he or she he, uh, wants you, you show your best because they want to hire you. But if you're not doing your best, or like, yeah, of course, you never, but then you're see. just shooting yourself in the foot, you're not giving yourself your best chance. Yeah, exactly. It was there. I feel like they only judge you. They, they, I don't. They try to fail you. That's how I feel. Mm. I might be wrong, but that's how I felt. Mm. I mean, it might not be they try to fail. It might just be again that, like, when you're already anxious and nervous because you had an audition, you know. Maybe they. they, It doesn't help to see this lady from you know from the cashier lady's face going. I know. Is yeah. that it? Okay, good luck. Have a nice day. Next. Not even, not even have a nice day. Do you need the receipt? Next. <laughs> and then, you know, there might be that. You know, Are chewing you gum. <laughs> <laughs> the I hate my life and you. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Classic snarl. Yeah. Now, yeah. They... No, maybe, maybe they just don't give that many chances to different people like here. Mm. They, mm. They, 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 they let you they let you try. And there is probably just let's say which is only one of the best and not even gonna see you or hear you. Yeah, it's yeah, it is more uh are you delivering or not? It's yeah. No, you know. So. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And, and fa- sorry, go yeah. ahead. Oh yeah, keep going. Now I was gonna take a little turn. I was like, I'm very fascinated by the fact that you see some some of the similar uh, traits and behaviors in Eastern European countries that have been affected by communism. Like, I'm curious what the differences are because obviously every country had their own communism as well. Like, it wasn't the same thing, you know, but it, there was still a lot of similarities. So I'm kind of curious. Wait, what are like the differences? Hmm. It's 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 like a, for me, it's like a very interesting and intriguing subject of like. So how about your life, shit? <laughs> I mean, I can't say it was shit. I don't want to say my words. I don't. You're allowed to swear. You're allowed to swear on this interview. Right? My life was all right, to be honest. No, no, fair enough, fair enough. I'm just like more of a historical curiosity, if anything else. Oh, I'm not really into this, to be honest. Um, I just know that um, many people are like blind as well in uh, different things like for example especially now with this war and all that many people are going for um something well i would say old people yeah now like this generation they're fine they have you know the brain they see different things from uh, that time and this time yeah uh, they act differently you're not gonna lie it's obvious uh but like old people sometimes it's hard but then they are very you get the classic it was yeah. better in those days yeah, of course, of course. And like I said, like I have a friend whose um, grandma, for example, she's watching TV, she's listening to Putin and she's like so much into him and they're like kind of zombies, you know, they don't think, they just follow something that was long time ago. And Well, they, it, they do think, but it's it's um, it's an interesting thing that people do. It's sometimes you, you kind of go, okay, they're right, so I'm willing to believe most of what they say. So mm-hmm. you do think, but you've given someone that, you know, the that trust and that vote of confidence, the liberty to sort of tell you how it is, which yeah. is something that you should never give anyone. You know, you should always take everything with a grain of salt and you can say, okay, well, I kind of trust you, but I, it's nothing 100%, you know? I just feel like people sometimes need to, like the old people should trust us as well with the opinion and everything. I mean, yes, yeah, but then you've got the classic, but I have lived longer than you, therefore I know better. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Although I see the difference and I know how it is, you know, and of course I'm not going to be 100% right, but listen to what I say as well. Yeah, you know, it's, um, yeah it's an interesting thing of, uh, you, you can get, like, you start thinking, oh, they, they write about this, that means they write about other stuff as well, and then because you're a young one, like, you were wrong about that, so what do you know? You shut up. Yeah. And then, it's no, it's actually, it's like issue by issue. Somebody can be right on one thing and completely wrong about something else, so you can't just be like, I will listen to you, please tell me. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, all I know as well that Estonians hate Russians. Maybe not all of them. No, but like a historical, like, they, okay, so there's a, a segment of the population. I mean, every, I think everyone in Eastern Europe, you will find some segment of the population that hates somebody else. They Everybody hates one of the neighbors or all of the yeah. neighbors. That's just. I can't really say that because I, like, like I said, I grew up in a Russian speaking area. Mm. So I didn't have problems with that. Um, but yeah, my friend, she is from Capital, from Tallinn, and she went to Estonian school. And of course, she had an accent and all that. And, you know, Estonians weren't really nice to her. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure not everybody, like, it depends on the character as well. Yeah, it always comes down to the individual at the end mm-hmm. of the day. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Okay.